Hey guys, it's Irish again. In the last video I showed you how to install uh, the base system for Arch Linux. Uh, there is one thing that uh, I did uh, mistakenly on it. Uh, under Nano, when you're trying to copy a line, it is actually Alt-6, not Alt-F6. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys how to install uh, Xorg. Yawert and to create your uh, username. So let's bring up our uh, Arch. So as you see the the art the grub menu here. Uh, in th really last uh, video we did we actually installed Arch. So uh, depending on what you're trying to do with Arch, uh, this video will show you if you want to go with either the server or a desktop environment. So what we're going to do is install the desktop environment. So let's just uh, log in under with root since we have not created anything yet. Uh, it would be nice if I did this right. Okay, so even if you have a, a wired connection or on on VirtualBox, if we try pinging this machine, you'll notice that it says unknown. So to get around this, uh, we would need to just type in DHCPCD. Click that, and now if we ping it, as you can see, we have this. So once we uh, ping it, uh, if we decided to reboot and come back in, the DHCP CD would not hold. So the first thing we need to do is do is uh, do um, system CTL enable DHCP CD. So this will create a sim link, and then if we decide to reboot. Uh, we will be able to uh, have automatic uh, Wi-Fi so we don't have to do that. That's only if you are uh, doing it through DHCP but again if you are uh, if you did it uh, connected your Wi-Fi through Wi-Fi menu uh, I would suggest doing it that uh, until you build your link. So the first thing we're going to do is create our username so all you would have to do, let's uh, clear this out here. So all you have to do is user add space dash m dash g and then your user, uh, excuse me, users, then dash s and then you want to put this in with the bash and then this is where you would put your username so we'll just say Irish. So if you wanted to change uh, your password it would or to create a password uh, you would just do PASSWD and then your password for your username. So you just type that in and then password has updated successfully. So the next thing we're going to do is go into our pacman.conf. Now this is the c configuration file that holds our uh, our repo list. So what we're going to do, so to go in there it will be nano etsy pacman.conf. So if you have to uh, put in any custom repos or anything else like that, uh, we would want to put it in here. So you're just going to scroll down here to see the repository. Now if you are on a 64-bit system I would suggest that you uncomment the multi-lib. Now this will get you the 32-bit uh, programs uh, that you need to run your system. And then also we are going to add a special repo so we can get um, so we can get Yawert. So I would come all the way down to the bottom uh, after you uncomment the multi-lib. Uh, we are going to put this in brackets, so it's just going to be open bracket, then arch linux fr, and then 
close the bracket. And then down here, we're going to do what is known as a SIG level or a signature level. So since we're just going to be using this once, uh, we'll just say never. So this will not check this signature level. Uh, I would not recommend doing that for any of the others like the community or the core or the uh, multi-lib or anything else like that. So the next one we're going to go down to is put in the uh, server. So we're just going to go server equals and then HTTP colon for backslash backslash repo dot arch Linux dot fr backslash again the dollar sign and then arch. So you just want to save this. So we're going to type pacman dash syu. This will um, refresh all the repos that we have and then install anything uh, that we need. So as you see, there's three packages. Uh, the latest kernel is 4.0.5-1, and then the Linux firmware, firmware, and then the Gawk. So we're just going to uh, say yes to these, and I will come back when this is done. Okay, so once that's complete, uh, we're just going to install uh, just a few more packages really fast. So it's just going to be pacman.s, capital S, and then sudo, and then yaourt. So we are going to set up sudo here. So uh, this actually does work also uh, since Fedora actually does not come pre-installed with sudo. Uh, you can use uh, what I'm going to show you here really fast on how to set up uh, your sudo on here. So once that's installed, we can do editor all caps equals nano v sudo. And then this v sudo is just another way to get to the suitors file. So we click that. And then you just scroll down until you see the wheel. So if you just put your uh, your username down here, space all equals parenthesis all closing parenthesis, and then that's all you and then all one more time. So if we save this, uh, and then we'll just exit out of root. Type in our username and our password. So now if we try to install anything else, uh, we would just need to use sudo. So the next thing we're going to do is set up our sound. So if we do sudo pacman, capital S, also utils. So the very first time we're going to do is uh, you have to put in your password here and then click yes. So once that's done, uh, to test it out to make sure that it is working, you just want to do also mixer and then all you want to do is make sure that the first two columns are up and just for the sake of things here we'll just do uh, turn this up so you hit the escape key to exit out clear and then the next thing you need to do is to test out the speaker so you're just going to do speaker dash test and then C2 and then this will test out speakers so if you, this is correctly done you should hear some static on both sides of the speaker if you don't it doesn't mean that it's not working it's just uh, there might be something some underlying issue so just do a control C to uh, to stop that so we do have sound uh, installed here the next thing we're going to do is install the Xorg. So the packages that we need to install Xorg, uh, I'm just going to put this in a one long string. So you're going to do sudo. You're going to do sudo pacman dash capital S Xorg dash server Xorg dash server dash utils Xorg dash x init 
and then also xorg dash twm xorg dot x clock and then x term. So the x clock you'll see in a little bit and then the x term is the terminal for uh, for the, for the x. So just let this uh, install this really fast. Now with this one, um, if you are on an NVIDIA, uh, this is when you would want to select it. So I do have an NVIDIA 305, uh, so it would be in the 305. But for right now, uh, say if I'm on like an Intel, uh, then it would be MESA slash libgl. So I'm just going to click that and then click yes. And we'll just let this install really fast. It shouldn't take too much time. Uh, the next thing we will uh, do after this is install our graphics stuff. So uh, we'll do, so as this is going, I'll just show you really fast where we're at. So we just created uh, the sudo file, uh, the sound, and then this is the xorg stuff that we are uh, currently installing. So the next thing we're going to do is the MESA and then our video inputs and then if you are on a laptop you would want to put the input synaptics so that will actually help you start uh, using your trackpad. So now that that is uh, done we're gonna do sudo excuse me sudo pacman dash s mesa we could have put this in uh, in the previous one but uh, just uh, showing this separately. So to figure out what your VGA or your video output would be, you would want to type in LS PCI, and you're going to pipe it. It's where the forward slash is on the keyboard, so you're going to do shift the forward slash, grep, and then VGA, all in caps. So if we do that, it just tells you that uh, it will either say, hey, you have an NVIDIA card or you have an Intel card. Uh, but because this is on VirtualBox, it just says virtual graphics. So uh, my laptop is a uh, Intel, so I'm just going to do uh, install the Intel portions here. So what we're going to do is do sudo pacman dash capital S xf86 dash video dash intel xf86 dash video dash vesa and then if we were on my uh, again if you were on a laptop you would want to do the excuse me you would want to do the synaptic uh, input synaptic but put uh, F86 dash input synaptic, but since we're on a uh, desktop, we're not going to put that. So we're just going to install this. And then once that's done, we can install our Xorg. So you, all you're going to do is say start X. And then as you should see, uh, you should see uh, three, uh, three uh, X terms, and then this is the X clock. So to exit out, so it does look like this is good, you just going to do exit. So one more thing we do before uh, before we're going to uh, finish off with this video is we're going to install a, uh, a font. So this is just going to do sudo pacman-s and then ttf.deja deja vu. And it's just it's just a, a a font package here really fast. So we uh, what we did today is installed our sound cards, uh, uh, installed Xorg, tested out Xorg to make sure that it was working. We also uh, set up sudo, and we also uh, created the user uh, that you're going to use. So that is going to be it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we are going to install our desktop environment and make sure that everything uh, works out. So if you guys have any comments or uh, any issues, just uh, put it down below and I will try to help you out as best I can. And I'll see you guys next video.